one of the great things about generative AI is it's always improving. It's always getting better and better. Such is the case with this. It's not just a pigeon with some purple stuff on its face. It's a motion brush, which is pretty amazing. Uh, a new-ish feature from Runway. Uh, so let's go ahead and learn how to do it, why you might want to use it, and uh, a little bit more. Well, we're going to do it all live. How about that? All right. So if you don't know, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So we're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI and how we can grow our careers, grow our companies by using it. Uh, so please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter. We put a lot of work into it. It's pretty awesome. All right. So let's check out this new feature. Um, from Runway. So the good thing about Runway is uh, you can have a free plan and you can use uh, a big portion of uh, everything inside Runway, which is great because uh, a lot of very powerful pieces of uh, generative AI software like this, uh, you have to pay just to, just to learn it. Uh, so I love that about Runway. So uh, I'm logged in. I'm going to go ahead and click start with an image. And I have a couple of images here that I uh, created in Midjourney, and we have plenty of uh, Midjourney tutorials and full Midjourney episodes on the website as well, where we, uh, I mean, hours of uh, conversations with Midjourney experts. So uh, we're going to take some of these uh, different images here, and we're going to try the motion brush. So first, let's try this one uh, with this uh, big elephant in the background. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to click upload a file, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload this. All right. So here's what you can do right away. And there's a lot of different options inside of Runway that you can add different types of motion. Uh, but for the most part, we're just going to stick with the motion brush. All right. So as you can see here, um, you can control any specific area. So essentially, once you click to get started, you're going to be able to select um, that area. All right. So uh, you can also uh, play down here with the controls uh, once you do select it. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can't make this elephant move. So I'm going to do my best um, to just select the elephant. We're going to see what happens here. I'm guessing it's not going to turn out well. You can also make the brush a little bigger, which I'm going to do now. I wanted it a little smaller for some of those more detailed parts. So if you've ever used Photoshop, um, you know, this is going to be pretty familiar. So again, I'm intentionally choosing a very difficult one. I've done this with simpler ones. Uh, so now you have, uh, different values. You can make it uh, move different ways down here. Um, so I'm just going to do uh, a little bit of horizontal, a little bit of vertical, and then, um, We'll just, we're just going to do some slight movements all over and we're just going to see how it turns out, shall we? Um, also, if you do make a mistake or uh, you can see I kind of uh, went a little too far there. So I'm going to do a smaller brush and I'm going to try to erase some of that. I don't think this is going to turn out the best. I wanted to intentionally do a pretty tricky image just to see how it turns out. And now, now I need to add a little bit too. It looks like I missed the trunk. Um, All right. And then that looks pretty good. All right. So let's go ahead and click save. Now we could also, if we wanted to add a description, um, so you could go in here and you could, you know, with text to video type a description of what you wanted to occur in that motion. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to actually go, go back and check because I, I don't know. Okay. I just wanted to make sure if you clicked out and went back in that your brush was still there. So I'm just going to go ahead and click generate. So by not putting in, uh, anything in particular in the text, um, all I'm doing is I'm telling runway, Hey, what, what I just highlighted there with the brush, make it move. So it could turn out great. I already know that this one is probably not going to turn out very well, but I'm doing that intentionally because our next one, uh, hopefully is going to work a lot better. All right. So I don't want this to go on for too long. So I'm going to go ahead and click pause on this and I'll let you know how long this generates. All right. It was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, it, it really took about, um, another 60 seconds. So pretty good. So let's go ahead and, uh, click play here and uh, see how this one turned out. I'm going to go ahead and make it full screen. All right, so actually not as bad as I thought. 
would you ever use this? Absolutely not. <laughs> right. Um, this this was intentional. I, I I went through our mid journey and I found one of the noisiest uh, images that I could find just to really put it to the test. So now let's do a much simpler image. We're going to go ahead and do this one here with a young, uh, again, a mid journey image, a young boy and a dog playing in a park. So let's go ahead and we're going to click back. We're going to go start with image. We're going to upload this file and we're going to bring this one in. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to click motion brush. And I'm just going to, I'm going to try this one. This one's going to be a little tricky. So I don't want this entire boy to move. I really, if possible, I'm just going to do his arms in the ball and maybe a little bit of his legs. So again, this one is also kind of specific. So what I'm hoping is the dog standing still um, and just the arm moving. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to have the dog just move its head because I think that would be a little weird uh, because, hey, in reality, what good boy is going to sit there when a ball is moving, right? Uh, so again, uh, you can move it on the axis up and down, left and right in proximity, you, you know, making things uh, appear closer or further away. This one's a little tricky uh, because I've, I've selected multiple elements and to have them all move the same way, it's going to look a little weird. Um, actually, because of that, uh, I didn't want to, but sorry, good boy. Um, we're not going to have your head move just so we can get this a little better. So we're going to have this, we're going to do a, quite a little bit of motion. We're going to go uh, to the right, uh, vertical, and a little bit of proximity. We're going to click save and we're going to go ahead and generate. All right. Same thing here. I'm going to click pause for just one second and let you know exactly how long it took. All right. Pretty quick. That was again, just about 60 seconds. Didn't want you to have to wait there. So let's go ahead, make this uh, full screen and see how our generation turned out. All right. Let's go back there. Sorry. In full screen. All right. So, uh, it's, it's a little comical, right? So, uh, I, I, I think it would have turned out better if I would have just done even maybe the ball in the hand. Uh, so it, it kind of looks like our, uh, the boy is, is floating, uh, is floating there. So the good thing is, is you can actually just go in and you can regenerate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo all of this right? So I'm going to erase this and let's just see if we can get, let's see. I also kind of want the ball and maybe there was a little too much, uh, horizontal and vertical motion. So we'll keep it, we'll dial it down just a little bit here. So it doesn't look like, uh, it's flying away. We're going to click save. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to give it a second to generate here. All right, again, so we had, there's our old one. This one took about 45 seconds. So uh, let's see our new one, if it's any better. All right, so I probably could have went in into the image description and well, let's, see, let's even try. I'm gonna say, boy, throwing the ball. Let's go ahead. We're gonna give this one more try. Here we go, another... 45 seconds. Let's see if co the combination of the motion brush and adding the text description work here. No dice. However, you know, I think what a lot of people are right now using this on is, you know, really short, you know, uh, half second to second and a half uh, iterations. I think if you had that and it was, you know, zoomed out, this doesn't look very realistic. I'm doing it all live. I would have tweaked it a little bit more. Uh, but I think you get the picture that you can paint what part of the picture that you want to move inside the motion brush. I hope this was helpful. If so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five-ish.